As the 2019 NFL regular season draws to a close, one of the things that we know is just around the corner is Black Monday, that day that we all know that certainly some coaches, general managers dread and fear. That day after the regular season is over when pink slips get handed out. And when it comes to pink slips being handed out, two pink slips that are absolutely merited absolutely deserve and must be handed out no later than Monday belong to Doug Marone, the head coach, and David Caldwell, the general manager of the oh, 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 so pathetic Jacksonville Jaguars. This is not a question of if Doug Marone should be fired. It's more of a question of why does he still have a job? And then especially because you already fired Tom Coughlin, the even longer-serving general manager of the team, David Caldwell, again, I asked the question, why wasn't he given the pink slip a while ago? Because the bottom line is, is the Jaguars need a fresh start. The bottom line is, you cannot continue to reward mediocrity. You cannot continue to reward bad decision-making, bad execution, and all these other things. Like, you look at Doug Marone. He's had three-plus years now on the job. And you can always believe that he kind of undercut Gus Bradley, and that's how he ended up get, helping get Gus Bradley fired so he could be the head coach. You could say, oh, I was going to do better than him. And in 2017, it sure looked that way. Here are the Jaguars for a first time in a long time relevant. They go 10-6. and six, They win the division. They win a couple of playoff games. They beat Bills in that stinker in the wild card round. And then they go to Pittsburgh. And they win a shootout against the Steelers in Pittsburgh. Go into Foxborough, AFC Championship game, have a double-digit lead on the freaking New England Patriots in the fourth quarter before ultimately they end up coming up just a little bit short. That's a great introduction as a head coach. But the problem is the next season was a mess. The team goes 5-11. and 11, And as I sit here recording right now with one week to go in the 2019 season, the Jaguars are sitting at 5-10. and 10. So a 10-6 and six season that you won a couple of playoff games in, that's nice. But then the next two seasons are more a reflection of both the talent on the roster and more specifically, the leadership of the coach. What possible justification could you have for continuing to let Doug Marone be the head football coach of your team? The only answer you could possibly have is that you are accepting mediocrity, and mediocrity is okay, mediocrity is just fine, and mediocrity, if anything, is the standard of business operations for the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's the only justification you could possibly come up with. He's won two playoff games. Okay, that's great. The last two seasons have been a mess, and you can argue the team fell apart. That's a reflection of the head coach. Why would you sink another year into Doug Marone? What has he done to deserve it? What has he done to justify that? The answer is nothing. You're trending in the wrong direction. Let the trend tell you the story. The story is that it is time to move the hell on. And it most certainly is time to move the hell on if you're the Jaguars organization from your general manager, David Caldwell. Now, it defies logic to me that this guy has gotten seven years to begin with. All those three win, four win, five win seasons. You have one season you won the division. One. And even then it was only 10 and 6. One season that you made the playoffs. One season that you won any playoff games. And here go the Jaguars after that 2017 season, giving David Caldwell a freaking contract extension to 2021. For what? You've come crashing back down to earth the last two seasons, which again is a direct reflection of the general manager. He screwed up with the hire of Gus Bradley. He ultimately has screwed up with the hire of Doug Marone. He screwed up with the drafting of Blake Bortles, number three overall, like a dumb dick in 2014. And then after finally acknowledging that he made a mistake, even though he had already given Blake Bortles a bunch of money because he's a moron, then you go out into free agency and you sign Nick Foles to an above market value contract because you want to make a statement and leave no doubt that he's the guy. And how'd that work out for you? <laughs> I mean, seriously, you look at David Caldwell, and as easy as it is to just always blame the head coach, sometimes it's about more than that. 
How about the guy who got the quarterback position wrong multiple times? How about the guy who got the freaking head coach position wrong multiple times? The guy that had one winning season in seven and the other six seasons have been very crappy. It made sense for the Jags to fire Tom Coughlin, especially with all the talk of player grievances and so on and so forth. But David Caldwell was a major contributing factor to that as well. David Caldwell is one of the leaders of that organization. David Caldwell is the one that's built this team that has largely sucked over his seven years at the helm. Well, what are you going to say? Oh, he got two first, your first round picks for Jalen Ramsey. Well, maybe if the team was better, maybe if the leadership was better, you wouldn't have had to trade Jalen Ramsey. And furthermore, you're talking about a guy, a pro bowler, an all-pro, top five pick, that a few years later you managed to trade off for two future first-round picks that may very well end up in the late teens and 20s. That's not how this is supposed to work. Seven seasons, one playoff appearance, several seasons with three, four, five wins. There is absolutely no, no logical justification for allowing David Caldwell to continue to be the general manager of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And if you say, well, it's a guy that's got two more years on his contract, big flipping whip. The cons are freaking billionaires. They can afford to eat the money that they would have to pay him the next two years. Because if you continue to allow David Caldwell to be the general manager of the Jacksonville Jaguars, you are once again creating an environment and a culture where mediocrity is okay and treating the players like crap is acceptable business behavior. And that just can't be. Whether a Gardner Minshew is the guy long term or not, who knows and who cares? Because right now, he would have no chance under a Doug Marone coached and David Caldwell built team. And Jaguar fans most certainly know that to be true. And how the hell do you know that? Look at that history! What the hell more do you need to see? The Jags are back. This is basically back to being the same old boring ass Jaguars they've been for a long time. One fluke season in 2017 doesn't change any of that. One playoff appearance in three years and trending in the wrong direction does not mean you need to give the head coach a fourth year. There is nothing to think about here. There is no consideration. He must go. And for the general manager that has assembled those teams, got the wrong quarterbacks, hired the wrong head coaches, he's had seven years. How many more do you need? When you talk about pink slips that are merited and deserved to be handed out on Black Monday, Doug Marone and David Caldwell at the top of the list, and Jaguars fans know, know that I'm right. <laughs>